Hey everyone, it's David, it's your English teacher, and get ready for the present simple. Finally understand it. So we have to start with the forms for the present tense. The present tense form looks like this. I work, you work, she works, he works, it works. And again, for the present tense, but for plural forms, we have we work, you work, and they work. We have some examples for the present tense. We have you work every day. He works at Facebook. Now notice that I put an S there and we'll go over it soon. Works. He works at Facebook. I'm emphasizing that we have an S there. It's very important. And then the next one we say they work at Pizza Hut. So they work does not have the S. Let's get into it. Some really important rules to remember is that the present simple tense is for routines. These are things that you do every day and they can be even once a week, but it's something that's kind of scheduled and it happens very often. A routine for me is that every few days I work out at the gym. Notice that I didn't put an ING there and permanent is something that is permanent meaning like I live in Israel this is not going to change right now so that's permanent or I have a car this is something that's permanent it's not going to change and those are also facts if you really think about it so facts routines and permanent situations that don't really change that's when we're going to be using the present tense so some key words to remember are adverbs of frequency. We have always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. We use them to describe how often we do something. That way we know that we're not using ing. For example, I always go to the gym on Mondays. Now always is a hundred percent, usually is about ninety percent, often is about seventy percent, sometimes is about fifty percent, rarely is around thirty percent of the time, and never is zero. Remember that. Some time expressions to remember when using the present simple. Remember, no ing here is every day, every week, every month, every year. On Mondays, this is what I usually do. In the morning, I usually teach English. In the afternoon, I usually take care of my kids. In the evening, I usually teach English. So using time expressions gives you the control in order to speak correctly. Verbs indicating habits or routines, you can use these to help you. The word like, dislike, prefer, enjoy, love, hate, need, want, and have. Here's an example. He enjoys playing the guitar. This means that he probably often plays guitar and that he enjoys it. And we're not saying right now that he is playing guitar. One big rule to remember. No ing for the verb be. Remember, no ing for the verb be. Remember, use s at the end of the verb when describing a man a woman, or a thing. She studies English. We put an S there. I-E-S instead of Y. He lives in Tel Aviv. We put an S on live. It sleeps eight hours a day. It's a cat. It sleeps. A little final reminder of the structure. Let's go. I live in New York. You live in Italy. She lives in Germany, he lives in Romania, 
It lives in my house. We live in Israel. You live in England. They live in Australia. Simple with the word don't and doesn't. So, guys, present simple now for the negative form. Negative. Don't and doesn't. The most important thing to remember is that we use doesn't with she, he, and it. Let's program your minds now. I don't live in New York. You don't live in Italy. She doesn't live in Germany. He doesn't live in Romania. It doesn't live in my house. And now for the negative form for we, you and they. We don't live in Israel. You don't live in England. And they don't live in Australia. Very important again with don't and doesn't. Don't and doesn't. Doesn't is for she, he, and it. And now to the question form. It's actually very easy and it's very basic, but it's super important that you get this down. So we're going to say, do I, do you, do we, do they? Does she, does he, does it? Plus the verb itself. And the verb itself here is live, but we have not done anything to it. We keep it the same. For example, do you live in the United States of America? Just the same as does she live in the United States of America? It's the same. Nothing happened. The only thing that happened is, is that the S that we saw before has come to the word do and it became the word does. And because the S is on do, it becomes does, we don't need to add S again on live. So again, it's do I, do you, do we, do they live? And then, pay attention, does she live? Does he live? Does it live? Not does it lives or does he lives? Or does she lives? That's a big, big mistake. And we must prevent that. Now we're going to get ready for a quiz. So we could do that together. And I'll explain why the answers are the way they are. So let's do the gap fill quiz right now. And I'll see you shortly. Let's do a couple of examples. Are you ready? At the office at 8 a.m. every day. Now, here it says, he arrived. Now, he, we know, is singular. So, we have to say, he arrives. Okay? Next one. Our team deliver reports promptly. Our team delivers reports promptly. Again, our team is one unit. It's singular. Let's go to the company. The company offer... Excellent customer service. The company is one, singular, bevrit yachid. We're going to say the company offers excellent customer service. Let's go to the next one. Negative sentences for this one. Negative sentences, meaning we're going to be using don't or doesn't. With this one, it says here, she not attend meetings on Fridays. She doesn't attend meetings on Fridays because it's a she. Let's go to the next one. They not complete projects on time. They is plural. Many. We don't say doesn't. We say don't. They don't complete projects on time. Let's go to the next one. The department. One department. Singular. The department. Not open. We want to say the department doesn't open. Open is a verb. Doesn't together. Doesn't open. Doesn't open before 9 a.m. 
Let's go to the next one for questions. Questions are a little bit harder. Remember, we have do and does for questions. So here it says, she work on weekends. So what do you think? Does she work on weekends? Excellent. Let's go to the next one. Mm, they handle international clients. Do they handle international clients? And one last one. The CEO travel frequently. Does the CEO travel frequently? Now we're going to read a present simple story together. Let's look at it. Meet Sarah, a salesperson. Every morning at 8 a.m. she starts her day. Present simple, because it's every morning, which means it's permanent. She arrives at the office and says hello to her team. She checks her emails and calls clients to schedule meetings. This is something, a routine basis, this is what she does daily. Therefore, no ING, no ING. Sarah presents products to customers every afternoon. She explains their features and answers questions. That's what she does every afternoon. This is a routine. Sometimes, key word for present simple, she meets new clients for lunch. On Fridays, that's a general time again. It's a routine basis. It's a fact. It's permanent. The team discusses new sales ideas. Sarah likes her job because she helps people find the best products. Her routine includes helping clients in working with her team. As you see, a little recap about the present simple. We have routines and permanent things that happen all the time. We need to set ourselves up in the present simple and very, very important, no ing, no am is an R plus the verb ing, nothing. This is very, very important. Now I want to tell you a little bit about the next lesson that we're going to be doing. The next lesson is going to be on stative verbs only. And why are stative verbs important? Because they are verbs that you cannot put in, G in ing form. That means there is no process, there is no ing. And it's very important because, again, present simple and moving into the present progressive, they're the two foundational tenses in English. If you don't have them, you have no base. So we have to learn them very deeply in order to move forward. Now I'm going to see you in lesson 9 for stated verbs. If you want to have the homework assignment for this lesson that we have just done, you can check it out on my website at davidenglish.info and it's going to be there for you. I'm looking forward to seeing you next lesson and see you soon.